two videos I want to point out to you. Uh, both of them have in them Mr. Doug Batchelor of the Seventh Day Adventist and one video called Amazing Facts Law and Grace Part 2. In that video at 2 minutes and 7 seconds to 2 minutes and 9 seconds he makes a statement that, that Jesus wrote the Ten Commandments. As a verse to show that he went to John chapter 1 verse 3 that says through him all things were made and without him nothing was made that has been made. So in that video Amazing Facts Law and Grace Part 2 he makes the statement that Jesus wrote the Ten Commandments. There's another video that he has out <coughs> called Confusion in the Cemetery. If you look at that video between 8 minutes and 3 seconds and 8 minutes and 6 seconds he says that God wrote the Ten Commandments. There appears to be a Bible blunder here that maybe someone can clear up for me. If any of you have watched the Seventh Day Adventist videos and even some of mine, you realize that the Seventh Day Adventists say that Jesus is Michael the Archangel. There seems to be a big blunder here. For the problem is, angels do not have creative power. They cannot create anything. They were created. But yet he explicitly says that out of John chapter 1 verse 3 talking about Jesus writing the Ten Commandments he said this that through him all things were made and without him nothing was made that has been made what he did was a trip contribute to Jesus creative powers in essence calling him God that is exactly right and Jesus is God only God has creative powers angels do not have creative powers and if he says Jesus created all things or made all things he has just called Jesus God whether you realize that or not but yet we know that Seventh-day Adventists say that Jesus is Michael the Archangel maybe it's confusing to the Seventh-day Adventists why their pastor would uh, a tribute to Jesus creative powers and in essence call him God but yet still call him an angel and we all know that Michael or any other angel does not have creative powers so to me he has confirmed the deity of Jesus Christ as all mainstream Christians do confirm the deity of Christ so since you can't have it both ways he can't be God on one hand and Michael the Archangel on the other hand maybe someone in the Seventh Day Adventist could explain this blunder to me and to the viewers so we know exactly what he did mean by it so until next time thank you for listening thank you for watching been Godly One saying God bless